Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, vlog number two I believe this is, right? Uh, I mean I know I have over 500 videos at this point on my YouTube channel and I've uh, been doing this for a good 10-12 years or so and uh, it's the first time I really thought about, again, you know, filming while I'm driving to work and kind of discuss our days, what happened yesterday, what we're going to do today and that sort of thing but uh, in this video I want to talk about uh, going to car shows. Uh, last night we went to uh, something that we do every year here in this area. Uh, every Wednesday at Fair Mountain State Park in New York, uh, which is just right outside of uh, West Point. It's a really nice area actually, good for hiking, camping, um, you know, just all around good, good park, historical uh, that you can go up to. Uh, but they have a nice big grassy field there and uh, they have a car show there every Wednesday. And it's a car cruise. And like I said, some nights you can get up to about 1,500 cars. And if they pack the field. And this was the first night that they it was on the field. Uh, and so we probably didn't have 1,500 cars, but maybe had a few hundred cars there. But still a good night. And what I want to talk about today is I think when you get into the vintage scene, you get into a classic car. You know, I know I get a lot of people that call me that want a Beetle. <clears throat> uh, and they always say, oh, I don't want to take it to car shows. I just want to have it and have fun, and which is fine. But I do think you should, when you get a chance to, if you have a free moment, try to attend the car show uh, and start local. And you could even start at some of these local shows that are during the week. They're called cruise nights, uh, usually anywhere between 6 to 9 uh, p.m., uh, starting in spring, summer, fall, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and they're free. For the most part, they're free. Bear Mountain is five bucks every week, uh, which isn't terrible. Uh, but, you know, most of the, uh, the cruise nights during the week are free. And it's just a way to get out with your car, camaraderie, show off your Beetle, show off the Volkswagen. Because I gotta be honest, you know, when you go to these car shows today, a, a, a normal car show, a regular car show, classic car show, the Beetle is kind of rare. The Volkswagen is pretty rare. Um, as common as they were back in the day that people had them all, you know, on the road, um, you don't see very much at regular car shows. So you stand out from the crowd. And you want a little attention in life, you want to meet some new people, you want to get out there. Um, you know, this, the car shows are a great way to, to meet new people, meet interesting people. Uh, I've met some of the most interesting people at car shows and some of the most wacky people at car shows. I mean, you're gonna get uh, both worlds there, we, but it's fine. You soak it all in, you live, you learn, and every now and then you meet an interesting person that gives you some incredible history that they know about uh, the Volkswagen. We went to a car show one time and we met a guy that was in the Hitler Youth and he pulled that birth certificate out of his wallet and that had the, the eagle and the swastika on it. It was pretty creepy. And that's the creepy side of the Volkswagen I don't really like, of course. Um, you know, I'm all about the, the revolution that happened in the 60s and, and the colors and the, the hippie stuff and all that stuff is the fun, the fun factor of the Beetle. Uh, but uh, you meet some real interesting people sometimes and it's good to get, you know, other angles, you know, other history that you didn't know about the Volkswagen. Um, so, you know, and a lot of times you can learn some tidbits. So say you're new to the scene and, you know, you want to learn how to tinker and learn how to repair your own Beetle, of course you can watch my videos, but to actually speak to somebody in person sometimes that were maybe Volkswagen mechanics back in the day or they worked at a dealership back in the day uh, is really remarkable. And that, that can really help you to, uh, to many degree. Uh, so I would, uh, I would frequent uh, car shows. I think they're, you know, it's, it's something when you're getting into the scene, it adds to the flavor, so to speak, you know, uh, just having it and tootling around town is fine. Uh, but I think, uh, get out there, get to a car show and even support some of the car shows because you know what, they mostly go to a good cause. And, uh, you know, I, I do a, a show uh, every year called the Treffen, uh, the New York Treffen. Uh, I think this year is going to be my third year. And, uh, you know, it goes towards a needy kid someone who's got cancer, a kid who's got cancer, who's got problems, you know, and it always usually goes to a good cause. So uh, it's it's good to go to a car show. Um, but you know, you, you check around your areas, especially if you're in the Volkswagen scene, 
Um, you can check uh, the Samba.com. There's listings there for Volkswagen shows. Uh, I know in my area, if you do a search for New Jersey car show, New York car show, things come up on Google and sites dedicated to this New York tri-state area uh, that you can uh, frequent. And then once you go to those shows, there's always people passing out flyers for the upcoming shows. I mean, I could go to a car show uh, a week or two and I get a stack full of flyers of stuff that's coming up. Uh, so of course, uh, this is the Thursday before Memorial Day, so I wanna wish everyone a happy Memorial Day weekend and uh, think of our guys who went to battle for us and allow us to uh, drive our bugs and, and have fun and have the freedom to uh, play with our toys, so to speak. Um, so I'm sure there's shows this weekend all over this country, all over the world, uh, regardless of the United States. Um, is the weather's getting better, right? I mean, uh, so uh, I, I just think you know it's it's a good opportunity to get out there, show off your car, and it doesn't your car doesn't have to be perfect. People think a show car is oh I don't have a show car I don't want to take my car it's not a show car. Uh, you know you'll be really surprised what shows up at car shows. There's stuff that you know you wouldn't even think deserves to be in the show and it shows up anyway. So what? Take it. You know, uh, if it's a driver, who cares? Take it, you know, it could be a conversation piece. You know, you got an original piece that's got patina on it, take it to the show. You know, even the, even if it's just a cruise nights during the week, take it to the show. They're free shows, show off the car. You're always gonna find somebody, especially with a Volkswagen. There's more stories with Volkswagen, Beatles, Carmen Gia's, than I think than any other car out there. Because everybody had one, or everybody remembered somebody having one. So uh, it's just good stuff. It's it's good spirit. It's good. I don't know mood booster. Sort of you know if you're one of these hermits out there maybe that need to get out a little more um, or you know there's not much going on maybe with your job maybe you work from home and uh, you need a little social life. This is a good way to get out there and actually socialize with people and and learn and and you know you can learn a little history and learn a little tidbits about uh, your vehicle. So uh, just a quick video, you know, it's another vlog. I'm on my way to work, uh, it's 8, 10 in the morning. So I should be there in about five minutes. And I figured I'd give you guys a shout. So we went to the Bear Mountain Car Show. And if anybody wants to go to the Bear, if you're in this area, the Bear Mountain Car Show is again, every Wednesday. Uh, now any flirt of rain, even the slightest bit of rain, they cancel the show. So uh, you wanna go to bearmountaincarcruise.com to see if the show is on or not, if you do plan on going. Uh, to that show, uh, but it's it's a great show, and uh, like I said, you know, you go there, you meet a lot of different people. It's a lot of muscle car, uh, but there are some really rare classics that do that do show up there every now and then. And uh, like I said, it's good stuff, and uh, you learn, and it's camaraderie, and it's tips, and yeah, that's it. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and listen again, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, get out there, enjoy the weather, drive your cars, and, uh, and just have fun. Okay, guys, take care.